Yo, what is up, everyone? I hope you're having a great day. Good morning from Maryland. We are over here at Glitch Infinite, speedrunning this glorious game, Sonic Adventure Director's Cut. Today, we're going to be doing Sonic Story, demonstrating all the cool tricks we're about to perform. Um, I am joined by my commentator, Don. How's it going, Don? Yeah, how's it going, everybody? Uh, glad to be here today. Yeah, we're going to have a great time. We're gonna, this game is full of amazing tricks. You guys probably never seen this, but I was just on Games on Quick recently for this game, so if you think you knew me from somewhere, that's where I'm from. I got my Chow shirt. Um, if you guys like Sonic Speed Running, check out my Twitch channel, um, AF Wagers, for more content. Um, we basically just did a whole entire Sonic Story charity marathon where we played this game with a dance pad. So if you want to check that out, head on to my Twitch channel. We speed run most nights at 9.30 Eastern, uh, Eastern Standard Time. Alrighty, so without further ado, you guys ready? Alright, let's do it. Alright, you can start the timer up. Alrighty, so the first boss we got here is Chaos Zero. Chaos Zero is probably my favorite boss in terms of aesthetics and design. Um, big sucker for the, the Chaos Chow. But basically, we're going to jump on top of his head, go into this corner, and manipulate him to come back to life. Hit his head again. Stand on the puddle, get our feet a little wet. Oh, he decided to not do that for us. So we're going to stand by this pole, have him land close to the ground, and bam, that's Chaos Zero. So during the loading screens, you want to hold Start A basically to skip the results animation. All right. So we got our first action stage, Emerald Coast. Um, Don, want to explain a little bit more on the spin dashing, how that works? Yeah. So Emerald Coast is a really technical stage. I'll be taking over, and I'll let you know some of the basic mechanics of the game. Uh, you'll see wagers. Uh, doing a lot of spin dashing. What he's doing here is task spin dash. <laughs> no, fly in there. <laughs> um, task spin dash is done by. There's two buttons that you can spin dash with. Oh, tragic. Um, basically, you're going to be hitting the X button and the B button in succession, so one frame after another. What this does is it keeps your momentum uh, at the top possible speed, and so it's he, he's not mashing the B and X button. He's doing them right after another. So each time you press it twice, you're actually unrolling and then doing a spin dash instantly again to keep the top speed. Another thing you'll be seeing uh, throughout the run is menuing to change the camera from free to auto or auto to free. Uh, this is basically just because there's some sections of the game where when you go fast, the camera does not like to work. So it's really important to learn which camera you need to be in. But yeah, really technical stage here, looking good so far. The whale skip before, and Whee! cool little loop to loops here, <laughs> and uh, that's one of the most technical stages done. Yeah, it's sub ten, uh, sub one ten, so not bad. We take those. <laughs> All righty, so we got our next boss, um, Egg Hornets. That's our first interaction with Eggman. Um, we're gonna have to make our way to the Mystic Ruins real quick. Another important thing about this game, uh, compared to SA Two, is the uh, open hub movements. Uh, so basically, when you're moving through the world, a lot of crazy skips need to perform in the open hub, so you need to make sure you optimize your movement there, because it is pretty important. SA2, you kind of just load it to each stage and not have to worry about it. Alrighty, so basically in this fight, pretty easy. Um, Eggman's going to try and just fly around, shoot some missiles at us, and then after a wave of missiles, he's going to try and dolphin dive into the ground, hitting me, but I'm going to kind of juke him out and try to hit him as fast as I can. And Complete this fight in one cycle. So let's see if we can perform that right here. Oh, let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Did too fast. Last time we had a little bit of an audio lag, so on our GDQ it ended up messing up, but we did fine just here. Yeah, that's a fun trick for you there for your casual runs. Just spam A, it locks them in place. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, so we're gonna grab this Whitney Valley stone, make our way to Whitney Valley. Oh, this song is just so wonderful. Alrighty, so we're going to see our first skip performed in this run. We're going to see Windy Valley skip towards the end. But right here is, uh, we've got a little cool little trick right here. I'll explain it in just one second. Alrighty, so what we just do right there, um, so Sadix likes to reuse stages from Sonic into other characters. So we just glitch through gamma routes, completing the Act 1. Yeah, the walls they added in didn't work very well. <laughs> yeah, walls just don't exist in this game. Nice, that Let's was so clean. 
Alright, make our way on the spring. Reset right here because it's actually faster. Switch to free cam. Alright, so you can perform this, perform this uh, trick first try. Yeah, so Windy Valley Skip is done by using skewed gravity. You're going to see him go off of this slope here. You see he's kind of, his down direction is a little bit to the side. So what Wagers is doing right here is navigating around kill planes and just narrowly making it towards the end of the stage. Nice. Whew. Honestly, that, that angle from that spin dash was kind of scary. I was a little too high, but we, uh, we managed to bypass the kill planes. Yeah, if you do it with the right timing, it's somewhat lenient, but yeah, the slopes are spin difficult move. to manage. <laughs> and now uh, we're going to land right on the Chaos Emerald. Tails just like, <laughs> forget about me, Sonic. <laughs> just staring closely at his arm. <laughs> Dang, you, uh, you built. You built those for Sonic's manipulating gravity and Tails is just flying right behind him. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're going to make our way to our third action stage, uh, Ice Cap. So right now we should like, get the... Oh no, sorry, Ice Cap. Ah, Kisionopolis. Ice Cap right after that. In this game, there's a uh, Taz route and uh, a linear route. And in Taz route, you actually perform Playbook Kisionopolis, the second stage. Yeah, it's ni nice because Tikal isn't there on task route, but here we have to deal with it. Yeah. Alrighty, so we're about to perform the Kisionopolis skip. Let's just get to that area. Again, here we're going to see another case of just walls not existing, really. There we go. There we go. Who needs the light dash? <laughs> True. Oh. oh, so close. These slopes are really tricky. So they, these are actually the coins. They're the, I guess, rings. They're kind of there coins here. But yeah, usually those raise up when you normally play the game. Uh, but they're actually just under the stage. Nice job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that, that skip's a little tricky. Um, that angle I had before, the camera didn't follow me right away. So while I landed on the rings, didn't really set me up for a good jump. Yeah, and there's a kill plane just out of bounds for some reason. Like, you should never be out there, but just in case, I guess. Type one in chat to get your Mystic Ruins train ticket. <laughs> My check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this man's been here for decades. How long do you think he's been in that guy game for? <laughs> the wall just broke. <laughs> he's just been waiting to be freed. 20 years goes by, she sees a hedgehog with an ice key stone. <laughs> What's that? The world changed a lot while I was gone. <laughs> Facts. Alright, so we get the skipper here. Alright, second try. Maybe third try. Alright, the, there we go. The camera angle does not do you any favors here. Ice Cap is a stage that normally is really long due to the slow platforming, but we can kind of just skip everything in this stage. All right, so let's perform Ice Cap skip. We're going to casually walk out of bounds. Walls in Sonic games. They're a wonder. <laughs> yeah, so right now I'm positioning myself to not hit a kill plane, so let's hope that I don't die. This skip is great, but it's so sad that we skip one of the best songs in the game, and instead we just hear wind. <laughs> The ambience. Yeah, the song doesn't actually start until you start the boarding section. Unfortunate. All right, I think we have enough height. Um, you can kind of judge the angle based on that mountain that we just passed by. Once the floor starts loading up, we have... And, yep, we're good. The performed ice cap skip. With a lot of height, nice. A lot of height, yeah. Going to land right on it. I think... Man, this is actually the highest I've ever been on for this stage. <laughs> Alright, pretty close to it. Yes. Alrighty, ice cap skip. Yeah, not bad. Alrighty, so next up we got the most famous fight of all. We got some Knuckles action. The Ben's still there. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. Alrighty, so we got Chaos 4. Uh, Chaos 4 is basically the biggest RNG for this run. What we're gonna try and do is just jump around um, and hope that he doesn't hit us. So after each 
hit he does, he makes himself vulnerable for us to kind of attack. So we're going to do a nice spin dash over the pond, kind of lowering our position to hit him uh, nice and early. So we're just going to wait for him to do another hit. This fight is pretty boring, I'm not going to lie to you though. <laughs> Yeah, it's unfortunate. It uh, kind of just takes a long time, and like you said, there's RNG that can lose you anywhere from like 10 to 20 seconds if it's really bad. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, you want to explain the, the RNG attack he does? Yeah, I don't know exactly like what the pattern is, but I believe for the first two hits, it's like almost entirely RNG, whether or not you lose time. And then for the rest of them, there's some degree of RNG, but it's mostly just how you manipulate the boss. Yeah, um... So we'll see, so I'll throw like blue chaos balls at you, and it does take up like 8 to 10 seconds rather than not if you can execute it correctly, but let's hope we don't get it. So far, so good. Yeah, Made you that. can have a great run up to this point, and then all of a sudden just lose like 20 seconds to RNG. No fault of your own. No good. But this fight's looking pretty solid. So we can, we should probably estimate to end finish at 134, 135, I think, if we don't get the balls attack. So I think it's one more hit left in him. In the last cycle, usually it's three hits. And then he makes his vulnerable. So we actually didn't get blue balls. Nice. Nice. Two marathons so far. I haven't gotten it. So I guess it's good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So we're going to make our way towards Sky Chase, the hardest stage in the game. I don't think you guys are ready for this. Don, are you ready for this? Yeah. Hopefully you can get this first try. <laughs> you got to be careful, though, because if you get hit, at any point in the sky, we actually can fall down. You see that health me on the bottom left? You don't want to get hit. Be very careful. Very dangerous. Very, very, very dangerous. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to be honest, you guys. I'm fully lying right now. Basically, I can just stand in this corner right here and put my controller down and nice stretch play. Back out, you know, it's a great time. And we just sit in this corner the whole entire run and don't worry about it. It's actually pretty good from uh, Veronica's streams because you can use the bathroom, you can give your fingers a break. You can perform three big skips, including Wendy Valley skip, Casino Alpha skip, Ice Cap skip. And if you guys like those skips I perform um, and looking to speed on this game, I've actually posted tutorials on my YouTube channel. So if you guys want to check them out, AF Wagers uh, go pretty in depth on the skips. So if you want to check them out. Um, if you have any questions, you can definitely check out my stream. Glad to answer them and uh, help you along your journey for speed running. This game has seven different categories. I run Sonic all the way to Super Sonic. So if you want to see how Tails, Knuckles, and Amy is, Definitely the best place to check it out, my stream. Um, and don't you want to get a little more info on that? Yeah, you can also join the Discord if you're looking to speedrun the game. There's plenty of tutorials in there. The community's more active than it's ever been right now, so there's never been a better time. Uh, if you want to join, you can go to the speedrun.com page for Sonic Adventure DX, and there should be a link to the Discord at the top there. Yeah, it's a great game. <laughs> SC2 in this game are probably the most popular Sonic games, I would say. In terms of active. Yeah, and they've been growing a lot lately. It's been great to see. Yeah, this game was just on GDQ. We got it on GSA. Luckily, we were fortunate enough to, to get to show this game a little more exposure. Um, grew up with this game. Definitely love SA2 as well. I do stream on SA2, Hero Story. Um, Don, our commentator, does have a top five for Sonic Story, Hero yep. Story. Fourth place in Hero Story. Fourth place. Yeah. That's really impressive. Very impressive. <laughs> oh, man. At least the song kind of jams, though, right? It's true. It is a good song. And it's a nice mental break, for sure. Because, uh, like you said, you just go through so many skips, so many technical stages as well. So, yeah, makes it's, it makes it a little bit simpler as well. Coming up, we do have a uh, pretty variable skip. There's, like, a lot of things that can go wrong for it. So, nice to prepare for that. Oh, yeah, I'm not ready for Twinkle Park. <laughs> Nothing but Twinkle Park. Oh, man, that's probably the most stressful stage in this run, if I'm being honest. Um, basically what you're doing is that's the racing portion of this game and there's a big skip at the beginning and at the end and they both can lose you up to 20 seconds. So we're going to play the racing game for a marathon and try and perform the first try. So I think we can do it. Alright, we're going to land after just casually falling through the sky <laughs> and walking animation style. Going to get the crystal ring, which is going to make the white dash go faster. There we go. Nice. So what I did right there, um, so I got the light, the light shoes. It gave me those little auras around me. Those auras have a hitbox to them, so you're actually able to access the switches through doors. 
If you position yourself correctly, you can hit those auras on the switch and do things like that. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate you didn't get that first try. Yeah, yeah, I didn't position myself right. But here we go. About to do some driving over here. Reversing out of here is actually faster. I don't know why, but we're trying to get ourselves a nice little ring count from the skip. Yeah, so rings actually increase your speed in this stage. And uh, here, we're going to be trying to skip a pretty large section of the track. Let's go! Nice. Let's go. Yeah, this skip is a pretty big reset point for a lot of runners. Once you're past here, you're pretty much free to go. There's a lot of technical stages still coming up, but this is like one of the last like super um, inconsistent skips, I would say. Yeah, it's pretty stressful. <laughs> it is consistent. It's just like, there's just something about it. There's so many things that can go wrong. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and also, I don't know if you mentioned, but uh, every 10 rings does increase your speed. Mm -hmm. So we'll try our hardest to get to... Uh, it all does cap at uh, 99. Uh, sorry, no, it caps at 90, not 100. So 90 rings, fast as we can go. Max speed. Max speed. All right, so we got our next big skip here called Coaster Skip. Do um, you want to explain a little bit on that? Yeah, so right here, as the screen transitions... Oh, oh. no! Yeah, so... Basically what happened there is like there was a little bit of lag between the transition, right? So usually uh, you have to try to time it with that. And if you homing attack, you can skip this entire roller coaster. Yep. But you know, we, we showed that during GDQ, so let's, let's show the coaster skip version now. Or the, roll, yeah, this part of the skip. So this is the backup skip you want to do in case you do mess up. You lose about like 10 seconds, but yeah. So that's for beginners if you're looking to run the game. Clean backup. Thank you. So if we got closer skip, we would have gotten like a 124, but yeah, 138 is not bad for marathon for messing up a big skip. Yeah, sometimes that little bit of a transition between the acts makes it pretty difficult. And I think it's what they were relying on when they made the game, that it would just lock you in there. But we find the window. Yeah, so right now we're going to go speed highway on this little backup route. And we're going to go and try and click to this wall and first try. We don't need a key to enter this stage. All right, Speed Highway. There's a lot of cool stuff in this stage. This is interesting because this is completely intended. If you saw it up there, there's yeah. actually a life capsule. Uh, but I never knew this as a kid. Like, this, it's really weird that they put stuff up there. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's like Mario over here. Nice. Thank you. That loop skip always looks incredible. Yeah, it's a pretty technical stage. Um, the only breathing room you really have is here in this downhill section. Skyscraper. Up, down, all around. I get these running shoes and this little life over here just for good luck. Yeah, and for some reason these barriers just don't really work here. You kind of just hang out. I think it's the speed. That might be the case, yeah. Yeah, it's really very weird. And this section, uh, there are, it, this is a somewhat intended path, but we're obviously going through a kind of weird way to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, uh, another case of, that was, I believe, from Knuckles' version of the stage, and the yeah. wall just doesn't really exist there. Alrighty, so we're making it to our third, oh no, is it sixth? I think it's our sixth active stage, yeah. Or I think it's seventh, I don't know. Mm. Alright, let's see if we get the skip right here. Let's go. Let's nice. go. <laughs> First try. Yeah, hubboard movement in this game is very difficult, but uh, it's worth practicing for sure. Yeah. You can save a lot of time from it deceptively. You, you don't really see the the little invisible time saves, but they're there. Yeah, when I switched over from SA2 to this game, getting used to the hub movement was definitely uh, a little bit of a challenge, but now I find the fun. Odd enough. <laughs> Yeah, now we're getting the Ancient White, which is pretty much the reason we get the Crystal Ring, uh, so that we make this charge faster and we can attack enemies. That'll be useful here and for uh, Chaos 6 as well. Oh. All right, we're going for a pretty cool strat here. Let's see if we can get a first try. Again, some funny gravity mechanics. All right, nice. There you go, we take those. Yeah, that's a pretty hard strat. The, the slopes there don't really like to play nice. One of my personal favorite stages in the run right here. It's really technical, and there's, it's pretty much just nonstop action until the end of the stage. 
I don't know, the enemy stage is a little scary. Again, just skipping major sections of it. There you go. Yeah, that's kind of the common theme of this game is it's really just an open playground and uh, this leaves us with a ton of options like this. Like, why'd they put that platform there? We'll never know. But we use it. <laughs> Did I made a mistake? I'm still going to get a sub one minute? No way. Yeah, it's still a pretty solid time. All right. Red Mountain. <laughs> All righty, so we got our second Sky Chase. Sky Chase 2. Even harder than Sky Chase 1. Yeah, I hope you like the first one, because we got even more of it. Oh, yeah. The only difference between this one and that one is uh, at the end of this one, you actually have to do something. So if you see, there are two different things we can do uh, at Sky Chase 2. We can shoot missiles, and we can lock onto enemies, right? So there we go. So if you hold the A button, you can lock onto enemies. So at the end of the stage, when we're facing the egg ship, we're going to have to lock onto six targets, open up the barrier, and shoot and mash the A button missiles for uh, to destroy the, si the ship in one cycle. So. Yeah, for this stage, it is a bit longer, but we get some pretty cool cutscenes, and yeah, a fight at the end. Yeah, I mean, to be honest though, Sky Chase 2 and Sky Chase 1 are kind of nice, because it's a, this is a 30 estimate I put on for this for 35 minutes, and it just, I don't know, ha having that time to take a break and relax your hands, because you're constantly, the way I spin dash, I actually can explain this around Sky Chase. So, you think you're doing this, right? No, so there are two inputs from this controller to spin dash, the X and the B button. So basically, how Don was explaining earlier with Taz spin dashing, I'm pressing X and B like this. So you can imagine how my hands feel after 35 minutes of running this game. <laughs> yeah, and there are three more stages left, and they're all some of the most technical. There's really only the last one that's not too bad. Yeah, and, and also, let's point out, while I'm doing this, I'm also controlling the analog stick with my left hand, so it's more than just going... And then putting my hands like this, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. Um, it's definitely something I get used to when playing this game, but it's it's definitely worth uh, worth learning and getting used to. But now I just claw grip it and... Yeah, you, you kind of have to play overhand or you're just going to be losing significant amounts of time. Yeah, I don't think Rumble support is supported on the PC disc version of this game. Um, so I don't know how that'd be, because I feel like my controller is constantly vibrating if I was just like <laughs> spin dashing like so many times. <laughs> I like, guess like the one game where uh, Rumble is not very good. SA2 does have Rumble though. Yeah, the task spin dashing is really nice. Uh, I think a lot of people just assume that you just mash it. But yeah, it's pressing it right after each other. Uh, and it, it works this way. Like obviously SA2 doesn't have the quick spin dash, but they kind of have the same physics where there's this uh, kind of a stored momentum, uh, stored speed sort of thing. So when you spin dash, you're holding onto that the whole time. Yeah. And you can just stay top speed the whole time. I love how they, at the end of the stage, the uh, the song just likes to stop and just repeat. Yeah, I don't, I can't remember if it was like this in the original versions, but like it <laughs> loops so poorly. Yeah, here we go, here we go. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> Now time for the hardest boss fight in the run. Yeah. So we're holding A to, uh, to lock them up these right here. You'll see what I'm talking about. There we go. All six of them. And we're just going to spam this missile button right here. So you're locked into the, all six targets. It keeps this, uh, this, this hurt box open for us to hit. So then we're going to hold A and start. Skip this right here. OK. All right. So we're making our way towards Sky Deck. Sky Deck is probably the hardest stage in the run. Being that it's in the air, there's a lot of things that could go wrong, including deaths and just getting hit randomly by missiles and enemies. So, um, for this stage portion, I'm gonna have Dawn take over a little bit for the commentary and let me just focus on it because it's just if you lose, if you lose time, it's or if you die, you lose a lot of time. So we're gonna try our best to stay alive and not die. Yeah, Sky Deck is a really troublesome stage, especially for runs like this. Um, there's two potential soft locks in the stage. Um, one of them kind of based there on the beginning and then at the end as well. Uh, Sky Deck has basically a gimmick for pretty much each one of its acts. For this one, you have a cannon firing at you since uh, Wagers is in free camera. Uh, you can't really see it, but it is still there and shooting at us. 
And here there's just a lot of tight platforming to advance through the stage as fast as possible. Taking a little bit of safety here to make sure that uh, nothing goes wrong. Bomb is very nice to clear out the enemies. And yeah, one of, one of the biggest things in this uh, to advance through the act, act 1 and Act 2 is to destroy the cannon that's been firing at you the whole time. And here we go. Act 2's gimmick is essentially wind. But the thing is, is if you are, it's basically if you're in the same area for long enough, the wind will try to pick you up. Um, but the thing is, is if you go fast enough, you can pretty much avoid that entirely. Nice one there. And here we're going to try to get the cannon as quick as possible. There we go. Nice. Got it on the first All one. Right, soft lock right here. Maybe we don't get it. Yeah, so the gimmick of this one is the changing gravity. But again, we can kind of just skip that. So instead of dealing with this long platforming section... All right, oh, yeah, usually there's an invisible wall there that can kind of help you get all the way to the end. Not bad. 123 is still really good. We take no soft lock. <laughs> we take no soft lock. Yeah, not bad. Can't complain about that. Yeah. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of open, uh, open world movement over here before we reverse our next boss, which is Cast 6. I think a lot of people actually say that Cast 6 is their favorite boss in terms of design and just the fight. Um, but we do have a manipulation to uh, finish this early, but right now we're versing Gamma, pro Gamma. Yeah, the character bosses kind of just run around until they're done. Yeah. <laughs> Don't really do too much. It's kind of sad with the Gamma section, towards the end of his run. We actually nice. just skipped that cutscene right there. Yeah, my favorite part about that is it makes the camera a lot better here. Yeah. <laughs> if you skip that. So we're going to use that Aura to nice. access the switch without having to wait for the thing to move. Good RNG. Do it <laughs> Alrighty. So yeah, we have Chaos 6 here coming up, and uh, basically how this fight works is you want to throw the bombs that Eggman is throwing down into Chaos's mouth, and we're going to actually use the Ancient Light to deal double damage here, so you only have to hit him twice. Yes. Alright, so we're going to get this little freeze bot. Trying to get too close, so I don't want to hit them with the aura. And then go, Ooh. that's one. All right, try to see if we get that second hit. Yeah, First you can try. kind of manipulate the bomb here. There we go. Nice. Go ahead and go hit him, go hit him. There we go. And that's uh, Chaos 6 and two cycles. Now coming up is arguably one of the hardest stages as well, Lost World. Yeah, Lost World has a lot of crazy skips. Um, let's see if we can get, uh, get the majority of them. All right, we have a little... You going for the big one? We might. Let's see how, uh, see how we feel. All right. We'll leave it to fate this, to the side. Yeah. Uh, so there is a ton of skips in this uh, in this stage. Pretty much just every section has a skip. Uh, but there's one of them at the very end that's really difficult. Pretty much only the top of the top level runners go for it. Really only if you're going for record at that point. Um, coming up here, we have the first one. It's called Snake Skip. You're able to skip this entire puzzle section. Uh, again, from walls just not existing. Man, I have a hard time with snake skipping the marathons. <laughs> yeah, the collision of the snake is really just not favorable most of the time. And But if something keeps spin dash... Oh. Back up? Man, snake yeah. skip is not like me in marathons. It is not an easy strat. It's like one of the main ones that I'm always dreading to come up on during runs. There we go. Nice. Again, walls just don't exist. So Mirror Room right here is another one that's pretty difficult. Uh, there's pretty small platforms that you have to navigate to, and you pretty much just have to memorize the layout of the room since it's really dark. And coming up here is what we call Waterfall Skip, where again, walls don't exist. We just go out of bounds and skip this whole waterfall section. Nice job. Thank you. All right, let's try and go for Lost World Skip. All right, so this is... Arguably one of the hardest, if not the hardest, in the run, as I mentioned. Pretty much you're only going for this if you're in world record contention. Uh, oh, no. No. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, man. Do we still go for it? It's up to you. You feeling it? Let's try it. So basically, what you have to do here is land on this. Oh, the boulder is not helping Wait. you out. We still got it. So land on this really small platform. Oh, oh. man. All right. Let's not go for it. I don't want to lose my lives. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that skip is really difficult. Um, you have to land on that small platform there. Yeah, the boulder is not helping you out. Oh, man. You know what? Nah, nah, it's not good. <laughs> Let's just wait. 
We're pushing the boulder, you know, so I've got to do some work here. <laughs> yeah, so Get you... Get away! That right. skip is pretty cool. You land on the platform and you have about a one to two frame period to jump, and you can actually just skip straight to the end of the stage, but it is really difficult to go for. On the magnet. Thank you. Unfortunate. Been, uh, spin dash. Hubbard. No. Oh, no. Yet another case here of just being able to kind of do anything in a sandbox kind of environment. Just skip straight to the end. Not the best Lost World, but uh, take those. Yeah, as we mentioned, it is one of the hardest stages in the run. If arguably the hardest, but kind of just depends on the person. I All right. try to go for cool stuff, but you know what? It's always worth it to try for a marathon. Of course, of course. And we're coming up on the final stage now. One more stage and one more boss. Easiest pass code ever. Yeah, another one for your casual playthroughs. Very simple solution there. All right, so in Final Egg, uh, we're going to be navigating to the next section. And in the next section, we can do a pretty major skip to skip a pretty significant portion of it. For both of them, actually, we can skip almost the entirety. Very simple stage to have at the end of the run. Yeah, they just forgot to put a, a barrier over here. <laughs> yeah, just isn't there. And they definitely knew about <laughs> Sonic's ability to go up slopes like that, so I, I don't know. Let's go. Nice. Oh, perfect. And let's see if we get this kit. Oh, I'm gonna get this live. This live right here? Just yes. <laughs> Good idea. Alright, we don't need it. Nice. And there's the end of the stage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A five minute stage turned into uh, 56 seconds. They did put some kill points out there to stop it, but <laughs> you can just jump right over them. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, so we're gonna go on to our final boss. We got Egg Viper. Egg Viper, we're gonna get a lot of this. A lot of. Get a little of this. So, last time we had a marathon, everyone was just screaming it and chanting it. It was great. So, let's see, chat. Get a load of this. So we're waiting for him to shoot like the Star Wars Stormtroopers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all you have to do is run in a circle and he can't really hit you. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> you have to be very careful though. So we're going for early hits and if we mistime them, we can pay the consequence and have to restart a three minute boss. Yeah, it's by far the longest boss in the game uh, with the exception of maybe the last boss, but... See if you can make it. Like that. Oh, dang. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, the early hits can be really punishing because uh, Eggman is actually supposed to go backwards, and uh, we hit them on the f pretty much some of the earliest frames possible, so we can make it back to the platform. So yeah, timing these hits is pretty difficult. I believe there are three of these quick hits that you have to do in a run at the end. <laughs> And when you're on pace for a PB, it's uh, very stressful. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. He's just right in front of me right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So one of the things you can see there here. We go. That's what we were trying to do before. It's very stressful. <laughs> so one of the things you can see here is when uh, he's doing the big explosive attack. Um, you will see trying to keep the laser as close as possible so it has less travel distance, like that. Because as soon as the attack is over, then Eggman will resume the fight. All right. All right, one more, I believe. Or is it two? Man, that death is pretty silly, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, quick hits can be just really weird sometimes. Yeah, but I guess it does a good job demonstrating how, uh, how punishable that is. Yeah, at least, at least it was early. It's no use. All right, we got the last early hit. Woo. Let's go. Most of the hits are pretty safe from here. Yeah, we got Beyblade's, Beyblade section upcoming, so. Let's see if we can uh, do a good job on those. Yeah, so there will be some strats done here to uh, make Eggman move as, as little as possible to just keep, uh, basically just he'll pop up faster. Saves a little bit of time. Not too many optimizations during the section, so that 
definitely helps. Which I play safe. <laughs> and one more to go. He's not gonna get away with this. And that's the Alright, timer didn't stop yet. Didn't stop yet, wait. On the explosion. Well, I know once time. We stand in this little corner. Oh no! <laughs> He's up to something. Wait for it. Wait for it. And time. time. Alrighty. That was uh Science Story done in 3431. Hope you guys enjoyed the run. Um, I want to thank Glitch Infinite for giving me the chance to appear on this game once again. Um, after being on GDQ, it's been definitely a lot of uh, a lot of magic has been happening. I just want to appreciate everyone that's watching. Again, if you guys have not already checked out my Twitch stream, AF Wagers, we speed run Sonic Adventure 2 and 1, Million Sadex. We've been doing all story runs, so if you want to see the other characters, Sonic is not the only character with all these crazy glitches. Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Big, Buggy, <laughs> Gamma, Supersonic. So if you guys want to see those, definitely check out the channel. Um, my Twitter, AF Wager, is going to be posting more updates. I'm thinking about doing some chow stuff for, uh, for a little, going to give away a little chow box. Um, shout outs to my commentator, Dawn. Dawn, thank you so much for commentating. You did a fantastic job. Make sure you go follow him on Twitter. Was it at DawnSR? DawnSR on uh, Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter, yeah. Yes. Uh, Dawn's been providing commentary for this game right here. He has made a lot of interesting documentaries on SC2 and SC1, so if you guys want to check out the history and the skips with this game, definitely do so. Um, again, thank you so much for watching, and to make sure you have not donated for Tackle Kids Cancer, which we are raising money for, for our Glitch Infinite Speedrun Marathon, make sure you get on top of that. Um, thank you very much, and uh, thanks for having us. Enjoy the rest of the marathon. Peace out. <laughs>